Hey everybody, another episode of top decks that you can climb that are budget, so it's under 5,000 dust, it is bronze through gold, and above 50% win rate, I've got a couple for you. And love it or hate it, um, there is a lot of Sludge Warlock being played across the board. The higher you go up on the ladder, the more you will see them, but we want to talk about all of these. Win rates are Warlock just jumped up. Um, I posted in my video the other day that, you know, it's a Warlock life for everybody, so love it or hate it, it's here. Um, Paladin is right there strong. Death Knight is getting some love, moving up there. Um, there's some options for Death Knight if you like playing that class. And one of them is a particularly good counter to Sludge Warlock. So we're going to talk about that. Uh, Warrior is also strong. Higher you go up on the ranks. And then Druid, Hunter, you know, the rest of them. Uh, Mage is real low. Demon Hunter is real low. But I want to talk about some of these, and I say it multiple times. I feel like I'm blue in the face when I say some of these things. You have a deck in every class that's above 50% win rate in the past seven days so we have some death knights here plague is strong we're going to talk about that we got some aggro demon hunter um i have two decks to talk about uh hunter's good druid is good although i think that a dragon druid is not as strong as treant um I've been trying to make it better, trying to see if I can get it to work, and it's just, it just gets smoked by any other deck. Um, the only good thing about Dragon right now is if you're not facing Paladin or Sludge or what have you, it's pretty good. Um, but other than that, if you are wanting to play uh, Druid, play Triant Druid. Um, Mage is a little slow. Secret Mage, I got smoked uh, three games in a row the other day to a Secret Mage. I just could not stop them from winning. So it, that one's a very good option there. It's a little expensive, but not too expensive. It's still below 5,000. Um, Paladin, there's several choices. We're going to talk about that. There's Mining and there's Aggro. And both of them are almost completely interchangeable. And then Earthen as well with a 51.7. Uh, Rogue has Mech Rogue and it also has Wishing Rogue in certain uh, uh, ranks. It's very good. Um, Wishing Rogue and what have you. And Mining Rogue. Um, problem is it's too expensive for this. It's way too expensive. I try to get these below 5,000. Um, Shaman, you've got you know highlanders pretty good but totem shaman is the best but the problem is these are also super expensive and the popularity right now is really low uh warlock we've talked about it the only thing you want to be playing right now is sludge warlock we're going to talk about sludge warlock real quick um it is very powerful and then warrior you've got highlander control mining warrior what have you uh there's options there and um, yeah, it just depends on how much dust you have to spend. So let's talk about the main thing. And with all of these decks, they're below 5,000 dust. There is options here for you to be able to uh, get these uh, decks going with very little spend. You just remember that, you know, in, in a few weeks, we're going to have um, the new core set refresh, which is going to change some things. They've already said that right before or after, I think, very close to the core set refresh, um, they are going to do a balance patch. So do I think they're going to put some sort of, uh, you know, hand on the Sludge Warlock archetype? Absolutely. So, you know, if you have these and you're crafting these, know that some of these um, may get you a full dust refund in a few weeks. Um, same with some of the Paladin cards as well. Even though they've been messed around with, um, I really think that Sludge needs to have some sort of adjustment. So let's get into it with Sludge. It is 4,240 dust with a 59.3% win rate. It's good against all all the other classes right now as you can see with this overall win rate it's just smoking everything except for death knight and the reason it's smoking everything except for death knight is because of um plague death knight plague death knight and in some cases rainbow death knight um it's very difficult for sludge to beat it and it's the rest of them pretty much are good yeah the only thing you're dealing with right now is you're dealing with other warlocks um and you're dealing with uh paladin that's about it so we talked about it we talked about it last week uh, get your sludges out try to get as much barrel of sludge as possible and then get it to the bottom of the deck and then at the end of your turn destroy the bottom cards of your deck there's a lot of opportunity there for you to get as many as possible but remember if you're playing this deck and you're playing a, a plague um, death knight you're probably going to have a hard time um, getting your deck to play the right way but 
again, it's not too terrible um, to pilot. And the cool thing is, is there's not a lot of uh, uh, legendaries in it. There's only one legendary. I don't think Popcar the Putrid would be the one they're going to uh, change if they do any nerfs. So we will see. But there's that one. Um, let's talk about Paladin. There's two Paladin options here. And I said this before. There's Mining Paladin and Agro Paladin. The cool thing about both of these decks is they're super, super similar and interchangeable. So if you have one of these decks, you can play the other one. So for mining, mining is at 4,000 dust, and it's a 66.2% win rate. Very strong. Absolutely very strong. And it's dealing with... Um, you know, getting your minions on the board, letting them stick, and then doing the Garden's Grace, and then doing uh, Keeper's Strength to wipe out the other ones. There's Shroomscavate. Get a big minion and go ahead and smack the heck out of your opponent with that big minion. Um, if you're playing against Paladin, try to clear the board each and every time. Don't leave anything on a Paladin's board absolutely not especially now um i think i got hit uh with three different gardens graces um in two turns because i couldn't just you know i couldn't take something off of the board um and it was just able to hit me really hard in the face and then listen sir finley is good some people say oh this one's not needed it's very good because you don't have a Reno. What are you going to do if you need to um, turn all of those, let's say a Dragon Druid, all those dragons with the four or five taunt or whatever it is, um, turn those suckers into 1-1 one, one Murlocs. So I would definitely consider doing this one. Um, and then it very well plays into Agro Paladin. Agro Paladin is a similar deck it's a 2600 dust it's got a 65.5 percent win rate the only thing you're missing from this one is you know you're missing sir finley that card's not in here and you're uh getting more uh card uh character excuse me minion buffs in here so if you have most of the one deck the mining paladin 4000 dust you'll be able to craft this one it's 2600 dust at a 65.5 percent win rate and almost Everything is the same as like I'm saying. Um, get your minions out, keep a minion on the board, do whatever you can to make sure that you have a minion on the board, and then use all the spells that are in there to just smoke your opponent. And the cool thing is with aggro and mining, most paladin, there's so many other opportunities you could throw in. You can make some moves and you can have a uh, aggro paladin that just has some of the pure things. So you could use uh, Countess and a couple other ones. If you have Reno, you could make a Reno deck. Absolutely. There's just so much versatility with paladin. It's very strong. You know, if you have Shroomscavate and you have a couple other of these, uh, these spells, you should be able to dominate the board. And like I said, again, your opponent, if you are playing, playing against paladin get everything off of the board uh leave something up and you're gonna probably get smacked by a 14 14 minimum uh next up unholy death knight is still around and this is listen if you have no dust and you're just starting out unholy death knight at zero dust with a 55.7 percent win rate is where to go and it's just the entire thing of building up your corpses as much as possible you've got plague grain which helps you get corpses body bagger you gain a corpse here get your corpses up as much as possible and then as you're going through the game you'll be able to use army of the dead to be able to you know smack some things around and then at the end of the game when you have 30 plus corpses you can sit there and use the lord marigar um, i would absolutely try to use lord marigar with the stitch giant because most likely at the end of the turns um you know five six seven you should not have anything that you have to pay for this stitch giant so throw two of those on the board and then use lord merogar right around turn eight and you will be able to have a very strong board that'll be tough unless they have reno or some sort of other weird stuff um to kill it but that's the win condition on that one really the next one that's up frost death knight yeah frost death knight um that's at 2480 dust with a 57 percent win rate um it's just frost it's got frost spells it's got all the frost things that you need it's got frost winds fury it's got two of that we've talked about this deck before but it's still just very strong so if you're just starting out you haven't seen this before you know definitely check this one out it is a good deck and it's strong against you know it's strong against warlock and that's what you need to do um not as strong against paladin so depending on what you're facing and what you're seeing as you're going through your climb try one of those now 
I wanted to talk about Plague Death Knight, even though it's a little bit more expensive. So this one right here that I've started cleaning up is uh, 6,000 dust, but I've been playing um, Plague Death Knight a lot. The win rate on this one is 56.9%. Um, the win rate is, it, it'll, it'll change because we're gonna talk about this, but you know, it, we want to get it below 5,000 dust and if you want to be able to play this because you're seeing a lot of uh, the sludge warlock you can just remove Primus and you know I have not won a lot of games with Primus I have played a lot of games where I never even saw Primus and still won I'm very confident saying that if you're facing a lot of warlocks um, you know and you're seeing a lot of that and you need to disrupt um, what they have in their hand and what they're playing and, and not the hand but their deck um, play this get rid of Primus you don't need it right now you can throw something else in there uh, maybe you can throw one of the mining tools or excavate tools or something like that but with this one listen you want to try to get as many of the plagues into the opponent's hand uh, deck as possible just keep on going hell yeah is an absolute must i try to grab staff of the primus for turn one i try to grab the distressed cavaldir for turn two i want to make sure i have down with the ship and what i'm doing is i'm very aggressive when i'm playing this your mileage may vary is i'm hitting them in the face with everything as much as much as possible and i'm just going to keep on going that way um you have nerubian vizier which is still around um you'll want to keep that Keep that in a little bit later of the turns or what have you when you can do this with, uh, you know, your hero power, which is to gain a corpse. And then at the end of it, it's got Lord Merogar. You will have a lot of corpses in the end of this game. Um, so you could go ahead and hit uh, the Lord Merogar to make a bigger board, if you will. Same thing here with Chain Guardian. We talked about this. Uh, this one, with the amount of plagues, this one should cost you very little. So anything big on the board, do that. Um, if you have the ability to do that, make some swaps around. You could even mess around with getting rid of Foul Leg if you have some Excavate things that you want to add to it. But below 5,000 Dust, like I said, this is uh, without Primus, it's 4,400, and it's pretty strong. If you're seeing Warlock, definitely use this as a consideration. And then last of the standard format decks we're going to talk about is Demon Hunter. I found two Demon Hunter decks between 2,880 Dust and 3,720 Dust. And both win rates are above 50%. And I'm seeing a little bit of resurgence. I've been hearing a lot of talk about it on social media. I've been seeing a lot of people, um, you know, go over some of these uh, decks with, um, you know, the interest in is uh, this is possibly something that's worth uh, trying out. And the win rates are pretty high. You know, this one right here, the Big Demon Hunter, it is at a 54.1%. And the next one I have, I'll put both deck codes along with all of these deck codes in the description below obviously um, this one's pretty strong and and what you're trying to do is you're trying to keep yourself alive during the end turns where you can sit there and you can work on fail scale evoker you want to try to get the Illidari inquisitor out as much as possible while you're doing things with the board um, to try to keep that board control if you will and then anything that you're messing around with on the Illidari inquisitor side will let you smack them in the face um, taste of chaos is amazing it helps clear those small minions uh, chaos strike plus two attack so you want to go ahead and increase your attack quick pick spectral sight um, to, to grab more cards if you need them and then war blades you want your minion to be hitting a lot and you also want to make sure that you get this combo off with fell scale and iridari and you can do it twice you know if you do it right you could do both of this at the same time and this is an 8-8 eight, eight, one turn after the other um it's a good deck. There's something there. I have a feeling that there will probably be some refinement on this one. Um, and who knows what's going to happen when they start making changes. You know, when they're doing changes to the balancing of the game, if they're going to do some nerfs, they see that, you know, Demon Hunter does not have a lot of wins in its under its belt right now. It's very low on the food chain. And, you know, maybe they'll do some buffs that might bring this big Demon Hunter up even higher on the win rates. Uh, the next one here, just a def another version. Um, it's the same type of thing. A lot of the same cards. It's got Fail Scale of Orger, but it's also got Brutal and Nihilon. And the idea is your Fail Scale is either going to throw um, Illidari or it's going to throw Brutal and Nihilon. And, you know, it's a 9-9 with Taunt and Rush. And 
if you uh, if it survives damage, deal that amount to the enemy hero. So both of these are really good. This one's a little bit more expensive. Um, this one needs some refinement, I think, as well. But I feel that there's going to be refinement um, for this class probably within the next uh, balance. It's just too low. It's been way too low on the win rate scales, um, at least from what we can see for a long period of time now. Okay gonna go into twist real quick i'll go ahead and i will throw this out i left this in one of my other videos um, on hearthstonedecks.net here is a list of twist decks that you could be playing good news is um, these decks are all from what i saw i think i went through like six or seven of them um, they're all below a thousand dust that's great that's amazing if you only have the ability to spend a thousand dust you probably have some of these cards um but the other part is is it's kind of boring a little bit um i didn't see anything that was worth playing for a long period of time there's no you know front facing win conditions in some of these decks that just survive and hit um your opponent in the face um with a bigger minion than your opponent has so it's it's a little bland i don't say this because i hate the the mode i love this idea i just don't see a lot of um a, a lot of things that that's interesting to me uh, when i look at this too when i went through and this has only been a couple of days you know it's today's the fifth so it's gonna be like five days that this has been going on and i look at donkey and i go through all of the decks it's just uh warrior and rogue and it's almost the same exact thing so it's jade swarmer and i believe the thing that i saw on most of these was dragon so yeah dragon warrior dragon warrior uh dragon paladin dragon warrior jade rogue so it's jade and it's dragon so if you like jade and if you like dragon you'll be fine but if not not too sure but again i'll leave the links uh to both of those sections where you can make your own decisions but the decks like i said the decks are not that expensive at all um the ones on donkey are a little bit more expensive but they're around 1100 1200 dust um and you know they're all have high win rates so likelihood of you hitting legend maybe that's something that if you want to try to do that Try it on Twist because you will be facing a lot of um, Sludge Warlock as you're going through this uh, the the standard ladder, and you know fighting it with anything other than that besides maybe Plague or Rainbow Death Knight, um, it, it's not that high. But I've rambled long enough. I appreciate the amount of support I'm getting on these videos. I'm seeing a lot more people viewing um, the Budget Dex videos, and I really appreciate it. I do take time doing this, and I appreciate you all watching this. Um, if you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next video.